47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the Shadow Client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA Board of Directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Up and running. What the hell is that? Man, thought I heard something. Checking it out. Nothing here. Returning to post.
to say. It's a beautiful piece of work. A murder of death crime. You know, I've been thinking. In school, they always talk a lot about the separation of powers. You know, in the Constitution and all that. You got the legislative, the executive, and branches, right? But who holds the guns? So you got your ex-military, your mercenary. I saw a couple of uh, cicada guys. But then there's prison fighters, intelligence uh, professionals, cyber criminals. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. It's funny, thinking about it. A weapon shows So what's this I hear about a training Keep house? Keep it real, man. That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's a point man in the Mexico operation. Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. people let's get to it Burgess is back we're finally ready to make this happen I expect you all to know this by heart but in case amnesia has set in here's the sequence advance to the car with haste eliminate the passengers retrieve the briefcase extract got that and remember speed and accuracy is the name of the game all right now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out! Rose. 
Parvati. Please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Parvati is down. Good work. Almost, but not quite there yet.
Well done, 47. When Rose comes back, he's in for an explosive surprise. Most game time. Uh, you are. Think you can hook her? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. Paranoid. The road basically wants you to pretend you're within her ball. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. Penelope Graves. We need to talk. Your... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything to the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Threads, buddy. Oh, you're right, Jordan
Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. Recruit? And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. So, look, it's nice of Rose to think of my safety and everything, but I need to do something on my own here, so just come back in a few, all right? Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that Vanisher guy. It looked clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. The phone was dropped before I left the flight. Huh? Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. I just watched an interview with that billionaire presidential candidate last night. You know, the one with the famous hairdo. Ah, that guy seems so well composed and has such a refined academic way to use his arguments, flanked with well researched facts and figures. Yet he's honest and, and trustworthy. What you think? That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. What the?
Who's that? Come, let us take it from here. All right, I understand. Hello, man. Help me! Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. 47. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body. Or something equally convincing. Come on, I'm right at the location and it's the situation here. Corridor is clear. Commando, hold up.
The grunts are here. Last night was interesting. Oh, right. You were doing that bomb trigger for Rose. How's it work exactly? Yeah, so Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. Oh, right, for the next target. It's this Devereaux guy? Right. But Rose wants to control the time of detonation, so I designed this software trigger. What's by email? Devereaux checks it, the virus affects the watch, triggers the charge, and boom. Well, that is hardcore. Man, these people don't piss about. Yeah, well, still beats working at a bank. Plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade, the Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now, how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players from all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross, Klaus Strandberg, Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So does. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA, and Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences.
Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. <laughs>